Hello. All right, we'll go to uh, see if we can get this program. Here's the, the link I sent you in the email. We click on that. iPad's talking to me. If we click on that, um, it'll take us to this window. Go up to the GRB Music up here and click download. Should open up zipping here. Should be relatively quick, quick to zip down. It'll tell you there how, how long it's taking. Just depends literally on, on how the, the speed of the computer is. Yeah, it's zipped now. It'll tell you it's, it's downloading. The little blue bar will go around the circle here and then flash twice and, and you can click on it. Hmm. Nice cuppa. All right, we're about halfway there, getting there. If any of you having a problem, give me a yell. I need to know um, feedback's the only way I can improve it. Uh, usually, uh, on the first time, once you've um, done it, it will quite often crash the first time in. Right, yeah, with a flash twice, there we go. Now just click on it. It'll bring up a window here. Which has them there now. You can use your your unzip program if you want, or you can just do the Windows 10 one that's here, which is Extract All. You can browse to set it where you want to if you wish, and also you can delete the rest of the line there. I don't bother; just extract it out where it wants to go. It'll then open up a window to show you where it is. And yeah, it's unzipped the file. There, that's it. So you click on the GRB music icon. Double click on that. So, oops. Double click. Then down to XXXX uh, program stuff. Double click on that. Go to the GRB XLSM file. And double click on that. It'll then open up uh, XL, and it'll probably probably cark it the first time. Uh, of course, it's open on my other monitor. Sorry about that. This is what should have opened on your on your computer. I have three monitors running off this. Now you need to enable editing, otherwise it's it, without uh, the editing macros it won't and nothing will happen. Alright, so what have we got? We got it's crashed here so that just go if you go down there if you can't see that come up on screen just go on here and it'll it'll bring it up. Click end and just do it again and it should run the second time without a without a problem. Let's bring this up, and this is our, our program. Here's, if you click in uh, Songbook, select your Songbook. Okay, we'll go to set, set List. And uh, then select what song you want. Green Door, Solitary Moon, or oh, Slip John B. That's got to be a go. And it'll open up this. Some computers won't open up that file, that um, warning sign. It'll just open up direct, but that's okay. Don't want to restore that. Okay. Now if you want another one, there you go, you can scroll up and down. If you want another um, another song, then just shut, don't shut it, just minimise and go back and you can select again from, say, the COVID-2 book. We'll go um, Crackling Rosie, there you go. Okay, yeah, that'll bring that one up. And you can print print uh, it out there, whatever you want to do. You can uh, scroll up. Now if you... The thing I say why you'd minimise rather than shut it is after you've played all the songs, you get a list of what you've, you've played up there. It gives you something to count count off. Okay, that's it. And once you're done in there, just press exit. I'll show you. A, this is not quite finished yet, but this, if you click on that button here, it'll show you this and this. There's a, a song where I'll have an editing function in there later, but that's not happening yet. Once you press exit, it'll shut. It'll also auto save, which um, it, it'll show you that file that just disappeared on screen. And that's really about it. That's all you need to know. Thanks for watching. Any problems, give me a yell. Feedback's always um, welcome because that's the way I can improve.